Hong Kong Kong ID uh, when you bring Hong Kong for good. Can you give it uh, you need uh, info? In general, what to do when you decide to leave Hong Kong? Do you need to inform immigration that you are leaving? Do you need to leave your ID? Or? Well, te technically, you're supposed to notify the immigration department of any material change in circumstances within 30 days of that happening. That's technically. I've been doing this for 21 years. I've never met a single instance of a, an individual that has left and so oh, you know what I do? I'm, I'm packing up my apartment and doing all the other things. So I really must write to the immigration department and let them know that I'm leaving. You're supposed to, but nobody seems to do that. Um, <clears throat> And for your ID card, well, your identity card, as I mentioned earlier, serves two purposes. On the microchip, the Immigration Department embed your current immigration status and your current limit of stay, which allows you to exit through the smart channels at the airport, but it also serves as proof of identity. So if you, if you cease being a resident, there's no requirement to return your identity card, and most people don't, and it will still uh, form the, uh, the purposes that, that it was designed for in terms of proof of identity. But if you leave Hong Kong with your ID card and then come back for a holiday three years later and you try and enter using your ID card, it won't let you do it because your immigration status doesn't allow you, isn't reflected in your chip. But so. I don't know any penalties if you 